adding or importing users to be a part of your organization enables the administrator to control the access rights of the user, manage subscriptions for the users, and also change the role and location of the user. To add a user to your organization, click on the Settings icon at the top and click on Setup. In the Admin Console, click on Users tab and click on the Add User button. Enter the email address of the recipient you want to add or invite and click on OK. Now, an email invitation will be sent to the user's mailbox. Now, if he already has a Zoho account, he will be asked to just put in the password. But if he's a new user, he will be given with options to create a new Zoho account. Once he does, he will become an active member of your organization. You can also bulk import the user accounts to your organization if you have the account information of the users saved as a CSV file. As you know, a CSV file is a file which has a comma separator values. So to import users, click on the Import Users button at the top, choose the .csv file, and click on the Import Users button. And Zoho Docs will send out email invitations to all the user accounts, and upon their approvals, they'll become an active member of your organization. Once the users become active members of your organization, you can see the user profile with user details in your user list. And from the user list itself, you can change roles for a user, activate or deactivate the user account, and can also manage the apps and add-ons for a specific user. You can also search for users based on different roles and can export the users as a CSV file. When you add a user to your organization, you will be specifying only the name and the email address of the user. However, you can add other details of the users such as gender, phone numbers, and etc., add or change the user account's email addresses, and etc. To add additional information to a user profile, just click on the user profile from the user list, and now you will be given with options to edit the account's email address, change password, edit profile, and you can add the additional user details and can also create custom fields. Once done with editing, click on the Save button to save the new changes. Zoho Docs allows you to temporarily deactivate a user, keeping the user information instead of completely deleting the user. By doing so, all the privileges that you have granted to him will become instantly unavailable to him. But later on, when you reactivate his account, everything will be restored. The deactivate option might also be useful in the situation where you have reached a user limit, meaning the number of users allowed in your account, and you want to add one or more users to your account as a replacement. In such cases, you can deactivate the unwanted users and add the required users to stay under your Zoho Docs user limit as imposed by the pricing plan your account is in. So to deactivate a user from the user list, just click on the user icon available in the user's profile. Type in your admin password and hit yes. And to reactivate the account anytime, you can simply click on the user icon on the profile, type in your admin password, and the profile will be reactivated. You can delete users who are no longer needed in your organization anytime you want. When you delete a user from your account, all privileges that you have assigned to that user will be completely removed and all the files, workspaces owned by the user will become inaccessible. So before you proceed with deleting a user account, please make sure that you have transferred the ownerships of the user's files and workspaces to the admin or another active user. So to delete a user, just click on the X mark in the user's profile, type in your admin password, and hit OK.